Today we start Pick Your Podcast. It's our new series on podcasts that are made right here in Colorado. Deb Shepard is one of the nation's leading psychic mediums and has abilities to bring comfort to grieving families, help solve crimes, and coach people in how to explore their spiritual potential. So let's get to know more about Deb Shepard, her partner and manager, Dana Nieto, and her podcast, Spirited Straight Talk. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so excited to have you both here. Deb, I want to start with you. What does an average day look like for you? Well, normally if I'm going to do readings, I really kind of focus on, you know, who I'm going to do a session for, uh, what do I need to kind of, you know, have the energy for and kind of just take some notes and meditate through the day. Uh, normally it's just a, a way to not overdo myself so I have the energy to do the session for, for that day, that afternoon. Yeah, I can imagine it takes a lot out of you. I mean, how do some of these mes messages come to you from those who've passed on? Well, I use all of my clairs, which means I'm an empath primarily. I hear, see, taste, and smell. So you basically interpret all the things that I'm getting to be able to be a messenger. Since I've done this for 20 years plus, you kind of build a language like with any, any practice or any business. And it's sort of like interpreting what they're saying because there's no vocal cords. And what they're doing is showing me signs uh, and smells and feelings that I know that, um, that the, the person is, is giving these messages. For example, this one lady kept showing me that she had a large feature on her face, her nose. And so I thought, well, is it a was it a feature on her face or what? And the family says, no, she was just really nosy. And she would walk around the neighborhood <laughs> looking into people's uh, houses to see how they were decorated. So that's how you interpret the, the messages. Oh, that's so interesting. I like that. I like that connection. Uh, and then okay. the times where, I was going to say, then we have the times mm -hmm. where she's getting ready to do a reading and we have weird things happen like vases flew out of a, a cabinet one time and mm -hmm. and we're all broken there's probably 15 vases so we have weird things like that happen mm -hmm. too let's talk about spirited straight talk what can we hear when we when we listen in <laughs> you know they um like uh, we were talking earlier i i started my career in radio with doing this work and i just love radio and with the pandemic we really had to make some changes mm -hmm. and we decided to do Spirited Straight Talk, and we have clients, uh, listeners all over the world, which is really the change that we can do, is have people from, we have people from uh, Canada and the Netherlands and from the UK and uh, New Zealand and everywhere, which is really great that we can connect. And we wanted to really educate people about this type of work, because I think there's a lot of you know, people think it's really scary and what's going to happen and mm -hmm. just kind of give everyone some tools in their own personal life as well to help them connect with their own loved ones or get through some really tough times. And it's just been really enjoyable. Mm -hmm. It's really taken off. Too. We've gotten a lot of downloads. We say it's demystifying the spirit world, basically, because there's there's so many shows and things out there that make it scary. And it's really not a scary thing to connect and so it's de demystifying the the concept of connecting with the other normal. side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, making it more normal. If that's a normal thing. <laughs> Weird is my normal, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's so great, though. I, I love that. And I love what you just said, Dana. I think that that's a really interesting way to look at it, too, just demystifying. Plus, you guys kind of talk about, you say that you cover the soul enchilada. <laughs> great. Play on words. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dana does that. <laughs> <laughs> so we we really because we cover so many topics in in the podcast and i joined deb on the podcast she's the teacher she's obviously the guru but um i kind of help out with some things and um we wrap up every show with what we call the soul enchilada because deb really is the whole enchilada she's <laughs> she does it all she connects with the other side she helps people through grief she um, helps people with their, their life um, challenges. And not only that, with connecting in the other side, um, she's able to help people through their life challenges um, right now, but also with their past life stuff that maybe they carried forward. And that's kind of a belief system. So I know that's, that's not for everybody, but it's always interesting yeah. though. It's another, it's another way to look at stuff if you're not having the answers. And when people go through a hard grief, they start searching. 
and they start wanting to know that what I believe or what I don't have, I want to search for. So it's just another opportunity for people to, to, to learn. dive deep. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's, that's another thing too, is especially during, you know, the pandemic and what's been going on just in our world in general right now, I think a lot of people would love to have that sort of connection. So what's the best way to listen to your podcast and then get in touch with you guys? <laughs> That's her part. She's everywhere, actually. <laughs> um, so of course, the website is um, debshepherd.com. And uh, also, she's on iTunes. She's on Spotify. It's anywhere you like to listen to your podcast. So it's on multiple platforms. You can find it everywhere. But um, really, I would say the website and iTunes are, are the biggest ones that people find it right now. Hey, Danny. Yes. Is your grandmother passed? She did. <laughs> um, she was telling me earlier that there's something, she shows me a candle, which means there's a celebration that just passed or is coming up. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, it does. She I'm was sure. really a driver. She said that she was really a courageous woman before her time. Yep. Yes, she, yeah. she was. She was the matriarch of the family for <laughs> sure. Very strong. And she just says she's very proud of you because you went beyond what a lot of the family has done. So she's applauding you and she's got a smaller dog with her. Does that resonate with you? Yep. That's, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She just feels like you are a person too, that steps outside the comfort zone. And that's what she was like as well. And I'm sensing uh, an illness that went through her entire body. Cause I can see either diabetes or a blood issue or something. Does that resonate? Yeah, cancer. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I thought yeah. she was greatly missed. I'm also seeing a rosary. Was she Catholic? She was not Jewish, but religious nonetheless. Okay. So very strong. I'm seeing this very strong faith in her. Okay. Wow. I, got, I got the uh, religion wrong, but she was still really religious. <laughs> <laughs> religion, yeah. Religion nonetheless, just a, a huge portion of that. But yeah, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. That's been wow. following me around this morning. So I thought I'd make sure to, to give you that message from her. Deb, thank you so much. That means a lot. And wow, that, that just totally made my day. <laughs> awesome, ladies. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And everything you guys do is, is so incredible. And I, again, I'm just, I'm awestruck. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having us. Learn more about Deb Shepard and listen to her podcast, Spirited Straight Talk, on her website, debshepard.com. Also on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Audible, Amazon Music, and YouTube. Check out our Facebook page. We posted our extended conversation with Deb and more of her reading.